morning everyone welcome to road road at restore i'm john in this video i will be working on the Vauxhall insignia two litre diesel it's a cd t i s r i and i'm going to be changing the engine oil and oil filter without further ado let's get on with it Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get the driver's side wheel off, uh, put it on axle stands. Just we've got to get to that oil filter just there. And the drain plug just there. 13 millimeter just wet your socket on there and it's going to be really tight So in my case it's a bit tight, so discard the ratchet, put a T-bar on it. Then I can put an extension bar on the end of that, and that plate will come on. Why is that so tight? Okay, let's try it with a really big extension bar. Okay, let's see if it undoes now. Okay, now we're going to get the ball in position. Don't take this ball all the way out. Just leave it to drain slowly. Let's take it to about there. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay then, so this is the sump plug. As you can see it's got little holes in it, a bit like a banjo bolt on motorcycle brake lines. Uh, and you will have to buy a new one. Recommended. And uh, basically they put these drill holes in it because if you take the sump plug all the way out the oil will just spurt all the way down the street. So they keep that in, so it will just force out through those little holes. And yes, you might think doing an oil change, well, that's simple, very easy. But you did see, I started off with the ratchet, and I had to go onto this T-bar. And then, I had to add that bar to it as well, just to crack the bloody nut open. The main reason being is because you've got about that much space and you've got no strength in your arms whatsoever to move something like that. So just bear that in mind. Now then we can put our uh, new sump plug back in. Well, 
12 millimeter, no, just a 13 millimeter socket. around it mine can just use oil like so stick it over the top but there we go then we can just push that end into there So, give everything a nice wipe first, make sure it's nice and clean. Put a bit of oil around the seal. Perhaps you might be better off pushing that in there first. Make sure it locates. There we go. Use your gigantic 32mm socket to tighten it up. It is a bit tight in here, but it should be okay. A fraction of a turn at a time because that's the only room we've got. So this is the oil I'm using, 5W30 and we want 4.5 litres which I'll just top it up with just over 4 and then start it up, leave it to settle and then check it again. So let's go and do that. a funnel just in case hold your bottle sideways and it stops all the glugging to get down to there somewhere almost there sloping down slightly and it is jacked up on that side this looks about right let's do it three times just see it glistening 
just do about there somewhere. So when it's all running, gone into the filter, it'll probably go down. So we can put our cap back on. It's just a screw on top. Then we can start it up. So there you go. That's how I changed my oil and my oil filter in my Vauxhall Insignia. Two litre diesel. CDT high. SRI. That right? Yeah, that's right. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's been useful. Hope it's given you some knowledge. Well, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. I see you in another life, brother.